An attorney for 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse is giving a timeline of what they say happened leading up to the shooting. He painted his client as a hard worker who had no intention to incite violence. NBC5 Charlie Woods Husky has that part of the story. While their client awaits another extradition hearing in a Lake County jail, attorneys for Kyle Rittenhouse are seeking to paint a different picture of the 17-year-old Antioch man charged with the murder of two Kenosha protesters. Attorney John Pierce of Pierce Bainbridge says in a release to the media that Rittenhouse had gone to Kenosha to help. Our job is to protect this business. They say the gun he was seen carrying and the one he used in the shootings was picked up in Wisconsin and did not cross state lines. Rittenhouse, they say, was trying to defend a car dealership when he and others were verbally threatened and taunted multiple times as rioters passed by. At one point, his attorney says he sought out injured persons, rendered aid, and tried to guide people to others who could assist. But his efforts, his attorneys say, outraged rioters and created a mob now determined to hurt Kyle. Upon the sound of a gunshot behind him, his attorney say Kyle turned and was immediately faced with an attacker lunging toward him and reaching for his rifle. He reacted instantaneously and, they say, justifiably, with his weapon to protect himself, firing and striking the attacker. In fear for his life, attorneys say Kyle had no choice but to fire multiple rounds towards his immediate attackers, striking two, including one armed attacker. They add Kyle did nothing wrong. He exercised his God-given constitutional, common law, and statutory law right to self-defense. While Rittenhouse remains in custody, his attorneys are planning a full-fledged media campaign on conservative media outlets, including an appearance tonight on Fox News' Tucker Carlson show. They insist Kyle is not a racist or a white supremacist, but Kenosha County officials who let Rittenhouse walk past them with his hands up after the shooting say his actions amount to murder. The situation escalated Tuesday night uh, because a 17-year-old boy carrying uh, what appears to be an assault rifle who has no idea how to handle a situation like this. Charlie Vorchahusky, NBC5 News.